see mem mentorship is more of a um, kind of like an individual thing. Not that it necessarily has to be one-on-one -on -one mentor mentee, because I I also see the um, impacts of a network mentoring kind of a model where you're not specifically paired with a particular person. But mentorship, when I think about it, it's about individual impact more so than a collective impact. And, and you hope that if you're doing it well, it grows from, from your individual impact. Um, but I do see it as, you know, kind of a focused effort with an individual. And I see it as reciprocal. I mean, if I'm if I'm mentoring somebody, holy cow, do I learn a lot from them? And and as I've been mentored, holy cow, do I learn a lot from my mentors? And you know, so much of that is um, from the experiences that you know I've, people have been have shared with me about their journey and what they've learned along their journey. And what advice they have given, you know, their experiences that are different than mine. I think, I think everybody needs a mentor, at least one. I mean, sometimes you need more than one <laughs> um, for different aspects of your life and career. But I mean, everybody needs mentoring and guidance and advice. And I think of a, a mentor in in that way a little bit of a coach um but someone who's kind of invested in you particularly and i've had lots of awesome mentors over the years that i've learned so much from and i hope that um i've been able to pass that along as a mentor to others one of the one of the things that i have um appreciated in some of my mentors is, you know, when I have had a sticky situation, right? And we've all had sticky situations and I've asked for specific advice about that situation. You know, I've had a few mentors who've said, okay, there's a range of options for you. So let's talk about different options that you could think through, right? And how you may want to respond to this. And, you know, Obviously, then you pick and choose which one or combination of ones, you know, you think will work for you. And, and I really, I've used that a lot in my mentoring of others. You know, it, just the realization that the way I see a situation is not the only way to see a situation. And the way I might respond is not the only way to respond. Um, and what I, you know, if a, if someone asked me, well, what do you think I should work on? Well, you know, <laughs> I'm not sure that my opinion is the best or only opinion that you should be getting on this, right? Um, so, I have appreciated the mentors who've empowered me to think through things from different perspectives and figure out, you know, the me in the midst of that. And I hope that I've tried to pass that think kind of thinking along to others. If you only have one, and it is a mentor who is, um, you know, a particular way, you, you might not see multiple perspectives of some, right? You'll see their perspective and that's great, but that's not the only way to view a situation or to view a trajectory or to view a whatever it is that you're viewing, right? There's always multiple perspectives and and so having multiple mentors is a really great way to assure you that you're seeing lots of different facets of whatever it is you're looking at. A lot of times I start, I start these kinds of conversations with a bit of a joke and I'll say something like, you know, advice is free and you get what you pay for. 
you know, and but I really want people to think about, I mean, I say that pretty deliberately, right? You can ask me all day long what you should do and I, I could tell you exactly what you should do, but that doesn't mean it's the right thing for you to do. I am well aware that my uh, perspectives on things are not what how other people see things. And, you know, I think it's really great to have in all things, multiple viewpoints 